The flashback in this chapter in which we actually meet the great Shandoran warrior Kalgara, as well as Mont Blanc Noland, uh, I think is very, very cool. One Piece Chapter 286, The Shandoran Demon. Well, hello, my brothers and sisters of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, am Jim here to bring you another review on the awesome and action-packed and thrill minute tale of One Piece. Our last chapter, of course, saw us ending the volume and really a number of different things happening, but uh, ultimately... It was. It culminated in um, in really just the destroy the, the the beginning of the destruction of Skypea. I should say, uh, Luffy, of course, was uh, you know was rolling with the uh, the golden ball that his arm was stuck in up the giant jack, uh, trying to go and catch up to the Ark Maxim so he can have the final showdown with Anel. Uh, and Anel obviously had uh, had started his plan as far as these lightning clouds, and they're starting to. Uh, at the end, it was just this double page spread of just all hell raining down. So that is how the. Uh, volume of course ended in the chapter and really that's right where we pick off uh, pick up as well uh, and this is nice over here you have uh, some nice artwork on the cover not really sure who the guy on the left is or actually you know what that's uh, that's Mont Blanc, uh, Mont Blanc Noland and uh, and I know that uh, from reading this chapter is uh, Kalgara the uh, the great Shandian warrior looks kind of like Lionel from uh, Thundercats if anybody ever saw that series Anyways, very nice artwork, and uh, this chapter really it was kind of broken up in two parts. The first half of it really just was um, showing all the different factions uh, down to the people on Angel Island uh, and how everybody is trying to, of course, uh, escape. And it's funny because as they've all come down just to, you know, from the, the White White Sea to the, or whatever that is, the, the upper part to the White Sea or the White White Sea, uh, and there's, of course, that older lady, Amazon, you know, <laughs> she's like, she's like, hold on, she's trying to take pictures of people that aren't paying, they got to pay two billion X tolls for to, to leave per person, you know, and everybody's just like, Amazon, you got to leave too. And you just see the destruction of, of uh, really of Skypea because then you go and you've got, oh no, where are the boats? All oh, these boats in the harbor got, you know, were struck by lightning. The lightning's getting bigger and, and destroying things and, and just drop your belongings. There's more ships over here. And uh, so it's really just an all hands on deck, everybody trying to get the hell out of there. Um, we see a flash of Conus uh, holding uh, holding Sue and just kind of looking up like at the giant jack, like, oh God, please. <laughs> you know what I mean? We need, we need some help over here. Um, and then you, you, know, you also see uh, that the Shandians, uh, you know, of course, uh, leaving their their cloud village and um and you see their uh, their their chief and he's going in and praying to the great warrior Kalgara and uh, or Kalgara however you pronounce it and uh, and nonetheless you wind up seeing a number of different people you see Luffy uh, of course is, is still trying to get up and chase the uh, you know chase Anel for the for the showdown that he's going to have with him Nami tells everybody hey listen you know you guys got to get out of here get to the ship uh, do the best you can <laughs> you know obviously most people are unconscious and she's going to go up after Luffy but even she's kind of hesitant she's like I have no idea if Luffy can go and can can actually beat him you know so I'm hoping that he can right uh nonetheless though like i said very very cool stuff uh very nice chapter as far as the way everything just kind of it gives you that feeling of doom and gloom you know that the kind of that moment in one of those apocalyptic type of movies uh an armageddon or uh, you know something where it's just like if you feel like the whole world's getting torn apart you know and obviously it's it's relegated to Skypea here, uh, but certainly that's where we've been for the last 50 chapters, and uh, and you really start to kind of feel uh, the weight and the magnitude of everything that's happening. So uh, as we go and we see um, Robin, who's trying to kind of get everybody you know up and going, uh, Wiper is just sort of standing there. He's he's gotten up. He's uh, and, and of course uh, some of the others are waking up as well. Uh, Zoro and uh, as they call him the Weird Knight, but uh, Gonfall, uh, he's you know and they're kind of waking up and wondering what's going on, and, and Gonfall knows what's up. You know he's like oh Anel, you know. And uh, and then you go and you see and and it's kind of neat because you just see this this sort of stoic epic pose you know where he's standing there of Wiper and Wiper goes and kind of has this flashback of when he was a child and where it left us like ten chapters ago when they showed us that little page flashback of him talking to when he was a child uh, kind of getting talked to by the um, you know by by the elder by the, uh, the the chief of the village and telling him about what uh, you know there there was something else that your great ancestor Calgaro wanted for this you know wanted for this village. And he's like, whoa, what was that, you know? And then he goes and he goes on to explain it. It goes into this flashback and he starts talking about how 400 years ago uh, he was great friends with, with Mont Blanc Noland, right? Nolan the liar. And it's neat because then it goes into, for the second half of the chapter, you get this flashback. And the flashback is um, you, you wind up seeing 
Uh, a bunch of, uh, we assume that this is on, of course, uh, you know, Jaya, on the, well, it says Jaya, but uh, that, you know, in the area of, of the Shandian runes or, or the runes of Shandora, that there must have been some uh, some sailors, maybe some pirates, some treasure hunters that had landed there and uh, and were then being chased. Now, you just kind of go, you get dropped right into the middle of this, and they're just sort of running back to their ships, and they're trying to row in the rowboats to get back to their, their ship. And, uh, and they're like, oh, no, the demon, the demon of Shandora, you know. And, uh, and that's when you wind up seeing, after a couple of pages, you actually see Calgara, or Calgara, and, uh, and he's pretty cool looking, he really is, he's wicked looking, man, he whips this, like, chain ball into the side of the, uh, the ship and winds up going to sink, and he's like, you'll return everything that you, you know, that, that you're, you'll drop everything that you took and leave, you know, and, uh, and I don't know if he's gonna let them leave with their lives or if he's still, I mean, it looks like he's sinking the damn ship. Nonetheless, though, it's a very cool action scene, and you actually wind up seeing a couple of pictures of him over here that I thought was cool when he was in, uh, immediately introduced, you know, is Kalgara, the great warrior of Shandora. And really just the way that he is drawn, I think is very cool, man. He just reminds you of just this cool, just demonic beast, you know, with his hair flowing out and everything else. And I don't know, just like I said, just looks very cool, very impressive to me. And then from there on to the end of the chapter, we actually get uh, just a few pages, and uh, and it winds up taking us to somewhere on the Grand Line, obviously. And uh, and there is this uh, there's this ship, and and, and uh, we we wind up finding out very quickly that this ship is actually from the country. I can't pronounce it because it's like L V K N E E L, so Lavinial. Uh, but the, the, the kingdom of Lavernial, <laughs> and we find out uh, that this ship is uh, has been, they're out of provisions, they've been on the Grand Line, they face snow, they face rain, they face this, there's monsters, blah, 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 all the normal things that, you know, obviously we, we, we've come to know and understand about the Grand Line now over the last couple hundred chapters. Um, and then they wind up talking about... And they're like, uh, and you just see this sort of zoomed out panel of the ship, you know, and uh, and not really anybody in particular on it. And then some of the crew members are talking about how, listen, you know, uh, we've run out of food. Uh, and they're trying to explain to the Admiral, we've run out of food and provisions. We're, we're basically, we're in dire straits right now. We're screwed, right? You know, the cook passed out, all this other stuff. So then all of a sudden they hear somebody jump over the side and they're like, what the hell? You know, and they're like... Oh my God! Did the admiral just jump in, like, to commit suicide? <laughs> you know, and they see his clothes like neatly folded up and everything over there. You know, and they're kind of thinking like, "Hey, he just he couldn't handle it anymore." And then somebody else go, like, he couldn't take it. You know, being so hungry and just this desolate and destitute, right? You know, doesn't want to get to the point where he figured he'd end it on his own terms. That's what everybody's thinking. And then somebody's like, "No, man, he's you know he's been on the Grand Line and he's you know he's uh, he's come back or gotten out of the you know of the of the because obviously there's a lot of." Uh, monsters and things like that in in the ocean in the sea of the grand line uh but he's come back twice and all this other stuff you know and next thing you know they go and they're like oh look what's that over there and they see him floating in the water like it's a chestnut <laughs> and if you remember uh from from mont blanc cricket who's a descendant of his remember that's what he kept calling luffy kept calling diamond head but it looked like a chestnut that was floating in the in the water when he when he was luffy was pulled in so anyway we wind up finding out then and getting introduced to this guy that they've been calling admiral he's the admiral of the exploration fleet is is Mont Blanc Noland. And that's how the chapter ends off or whatever. Um, but Mont Blanc Nolan winds up, you know, he gets out, he's back on the ship, and he actually went <clears throat> and tied a rope around and then had them had the, the crew members haul in this giant catch, this giant fish or whatever that he had, so obviously they can eat. And uh, and he says something real stoic at the end of it, you know. He says something about standing still. Hold on a second here. <clears throat> Apologize, because I want to dive right into the next one here. He says, not doing anything really does dull the senses. And then he's introduced as Mont Blanc Nolan, exploration ship admiral of the Lvenil Kingdom, North Blue. <clears throat> so I thought that was kind of cool. And then you also get to see the uh, the giant fish that he uh, that he roped or tagged over there. So now everybody can uh, can uh, obviously not go hungry. And um, I don't know here. Let's see. I guess we're looking. Uh, and it looks like we're, I'm going to read in the next chapter. But it looks like the next chapter is also a flashback. So. Um, my chapter, that's how the chapter ends off, obviously. My chapter question for you folks is, what are your thoughts uh, initially on just the design, the look of Kelgara? And uh, and then also, too, now finding out that Mont Blanc Noland was actually, I didn't know that he was an admiral of this this fleet. Um, I just thought that he was, <clears throat> I don't know, just, I guess, some guy, <laughs> like a treasure hunting type explorer. And when he did come upon Jaya, uh, he just, you know, kind of went back to his kingdom and said, hey, listen, there's, there's a... There's a city of gold here, you know, so um, I'm just really looking eager, looking forward to diving into the next one, so leave your answers to my question in the comments down below, feel free to hit the thumbs up, the like button if you should think that I deserve it, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. We will look forward to catching all of you
in the next one nation, I should think. Well, maybe. Yeah, definitely, in the next one nation. You really can't go wrong with this picture of Firefist Ace. If you'd like to see more, remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter.